Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the tab control to group multiple controls together under different tabs on your forms. This way, if you've got lots and lots of different controls, you can group them together. Today we have our first ever double question. This happens from time to time. I get several people asking me about the same thing. And I've got a huge folder of about 500 different questions that people have sent me in over the past couple months since I started doing these tech help videos. And one of my gold members sent me a slightly different question that's related to this topic. So we're going to cover part one of this in the regular tech help video. And then part two we'll cover in the extended cut. So this video is about... Lacey's question. Lacey from Laredo, Texas says, I have a lot of controls on my form. How can I use a tab control to organize them? You don't talk about them a lot in your classes. No, Lacey, there's a reason why I really don't like tab controls. You can use tab controls to group other controls together on tabs inside of your form. They've got some problems, but I think when they were first added to Microsoft Access, I think back in 2003, I'm guessing. Um, I just didn't like them. They weren't implemented very well. There was lots of bugs. Um, programming for them was very difficult and clunky, and I just got a bad taste for them in my mouth back then, so I really haven't used them much. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to use them if you want to learn how to organize your controls on different tabs. Part two of this question is from William in Loganville, Georgia, one of my gold members. William wants to know if there's a way to change the background colors of the tab control. One of the things I don't like about the tabs is there's no way to change the background color for each of the different tabs. Once you add a control, all of the tabs have to have the same background color unless you change them with VBA code. And I'll cover that in the extended cut. But first, let's get back to Lacey's question. How do we use the tab control to organize our different fields? Well, let's go to the database. This is my free blank customer template. You can download your copy if you want to from my website. Look down below in the description under the additional resources section for the free blank customer template. Let's go ahead and open this up. It's a real simple database here. I've got my customer form. Now let's say you wanted to make this customer form a little more organized. Now there's only a handful of fields on here, but I've seen people with forms that have got 30, 40, 50 fields on them. And sometimes you want to be able to group them together under tabs. Now again, I don't often use tabs because I've generally found if you've got that many controls on your form to begin with, you might want to start thinking about breaking those up into multiple forms or using different tables because you might have a lot of extraneous data that doesn't have to be on your customer table, for example. But anyways, tabs aren't that bad for the beginner user. If you're a beginner at Access and you want a simple way to group your controls together, that's fine. It's only when you really get into more advanced VBA programming that tabs start to become a pain. But let's go into design view. I'll show you how to use them here. Let's make this form a little bit bigger. Give us some room here. I'm just going to slide this down. We'll put the tabs down here, and then we'll reorganize later. All right, let's go up to the design on my ribbon up here and find the tab control. It's this guy right there. Tab control. Click on it and draw a nice big box down here. Now, what you have here is a tab control, this outer thingy. All right, and if I double-click on that box, it brings up the property sheet. It makes it a little more easy to understand here. Tab control 26. All right, I don't like tab control 26. Let's just call that tab control. We're only going to have one on my form, so that's the tab control. I don't need the 26. Okay? Now, inside that tab control, there are additional pages. Each one of these guys. It's kind of hard to click on, and that's another one of my problems with the tab control is you can't just click here in the middle of it. It's kind of weird. To get the whole thing, you got to click on this box around it. That's the tab control itself. Then the individual pages inside, you got to kind of click on that box there. Then you can switch over to page 28 page 27, and so on. And again, I don't like these page 27, page 28. So we're going to give these individual names. Let's start off by putting the customer's address on this first tab. Now, if you've got the fields already on the form here, you can just simply click and drag a box that touches all of them to select them. Cut them out. Control X. Now click on the page you want them to go on. Not the control itself, but on the page. So you got that little box. And then paste. Control V. All right, there you go. Now, these guys have been pasted inside of this control. And if you move it, you'll see they should all move together. Watch here. I'll click and drag. See? They all move together. If you don't do that exactly right, you can't just click and drag from out here and drop it there. See? It's behind there now. It's, you, didn't, you didn't do it right. So I'll undo that. Control Z. Okay? You have to cut it and paste it in here. You can drag things off the existing field list. 
So if I grab email off of here and drag it and drop it, it will drop in there. That does work. But if your fields are already on the form, you've got to cut them and paste them. Okay? Now let's give this guy, I don't want to call it page 27. So again, bring up the properties, right-click properties. That's another thing I don't like is you can't double-click there and get the properties. See, there's all kinds of little nuances with these tabs, and I just, mm, I just don't like them. All right, let's call page 27. Let's call this address info. Or better yet, let's call this address page or address tab. Let's call it address tab. All right, and we'll give it a caption. The caption's what actually displays on that tab, address. Okay. Now let's go over to page 28. Click on that. This will be the more info. Let's call this more info tab. All right, more info, like that. All right, let's take this stuff over here. Cut it out, control X. Click in here. See, again, you can't click here. You got to click there I missed it again click and paste and once it's in here you can move it around all right just like the other stuff but it's just I don't know I just I just don't like it <laughs> all right let's get it lined up okay good enough all right so now I've got these guys let's see if I can grab that slide it up here and you can add as pretty much as many tabs as you want to now, there are some properties, some colors in here you can set. For example, all right, here's the background color right here. Change this to, let's say, light purple. All right, now that's the background color of the tab itself. See that? Okay, go back here. Where's background color? All right. Now you've got hover color. All right, that's the one that you're hovering over. So I'll change that to, like, yellow. Okay, and that you can't really see unless you go, let's save this and come back here. All right, see now as I hover over it, and it doesn't work every time. Again, another thing I don't like about tabs is they, they have these little inconsistent bugs. Watch, I'll hover over it and it works. Then I'll come down here and it doesn't turn off. Now it does, and I go back over it, now it's not working again, see? It just, I don't know, there's just so many little tiny bugs with tabs that I don't like. Access design team guys, if anyone's watching this, you got to fix tabs. Lots of people ask me about tabs. All right, so that's what the hover color is. Then there's the pressed color. This guy right here, that's the tab that is pressed. Let's make that like light blue. See what that does? That changed that whole back thing. And that's what you have to change with VB code if you want to give unique colors to these things. I don't really like that color. Let's give it a different one. Let's give it like uh, pressed color. Let's go to more colors and go really light blue like that. There we go. It looks a little better. All right, close it, save it, yes, open it back up, and there you go. All right, and that's how you can arrange these guys into tabs. You just cut these out, paste them inside of here. you got to be very careful with where you're clicking, though. All right, you have to make sure that you don't do something like this. Just click here and then, you know, like drag this guy and do that because now he's stuck behind there, and you can't easily move this. Now you got to see, it's just, I don't know, it's just... It's just clunky. It's not very elegant. I don't really particularly like tabs. If you want to add more tabs, just right-click here and go Insert Page. They're called Pages, remember. All right, we can call this guy, uh, let's see here. Let's open up the properties for it. All right, double-click. Let's call this the, um, oh, I don't know, uh, Contact Tab. All right, Contact Info. And that can be his email address and phone number. And we'll cut those out, click down here, and paste. So there's the contact info. All right. And let's say we add another one, insert page. And then later on, we decide we don't want that. All right. So you can right-click, delete page. There's page order. Right-click. There's a thing here called page order where you can rearrange these guys. So if you want contact info first, all right, move that up there. And now pff, that shows up over here. Okay. They're not bad. They're just they're just quirky. And I like personally I like to use embedded subforms. I like to make one subform here and then just change the subform control because you get much more control over subforms. You can change which form appears in that subform control. I use that technique in my ABCD database. Here's my ABCD. It's currently under construction, but if I open up my account here, see this looks like a tab control on its side, but these are actually different subforms here and these little links over here change which subform appears in there 
So you need a lot more control over it. I think this is a much more elegant solution than tabs. But tabs are okay for the no the novice user, the new user, novice, novice. But again, one of the things I don't like is you can't change that background color for each individual tab. Like Excel sheets, you can give each tab a different color and you can kind of change the background of the of the cells so that okay, this one's kind of green, this one's kind of red. Can't do that with with these. Tabs are great for looking up information. Like if you pull up this customer and you want to just quickly get his address, that's great. But typing information in is kind of weird too because the tab order, like if I go here and I go tab, see, it just jumps out of the tab order. All right. Or if you're inside here, let's see, click, click, tab, 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 tab. It jumps out here instead of going to the next tab. All right. It's just, it's weird. Let's see, contact info. Yeah, see, and, and each one of these pages in here has its own tab order. So if you click on this page and go to tab order, all right, now you got the tab order for this page. So or auto order those, hit OK. Then you got to go to address, right? Go to tab order, auto order those, those are fine. All right, go to more info, tab order, auto order those. And then the overall page now shows these. Right, auto order those and put the tab controls where you want them. So it's here it's gonna go customer ID. All right, it's gonna go over to is active, maybe throw that last. Right, first name, last name, then the tab control or then notes, then the tab control. Alright, let's save that. So if I go tab, 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 it jumps down here, tab, tab tab and it comes up here now instead of going to the address tab to get between the tabs with the keyboard you have to go control tab so now you got to teach your users that finish this stuff and before you leave it control tab it's just it's clunky it's quirky i know i'm complaining a lot but i, I really don't like tabs <laughs> but people want to learn how to use them so i'm 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 honor bound to show you how to use them another thing with tabs is you can't nest tabs inside of each other Whereas with subforms, you can have subforms nested inside of other subforms. That's kind of neat. Now, this is okay for a pretty small amount of information here. But if you've got if you've got tons and tons, if you've got 50, 60, 100 controls on a form, you really should start to look at breaking that table up into multiple tables. And then you can use either subforms in your main form or some other solution. But you, you, I see people with these forms that have 100 controls on them. I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's crazy. All right, so that's the basics of how to use the tab control to group your controls. Now we're going to go into the extended cut for the members, and I'm going to show you guys how to change that background color of each tab separately so you have a separate background using some VBA code. Here it is, the extended cut. See the different colors there? Here's the database, right? Click, click, and the colors change based on which tab you select. That is covered in the extended cut for silver members and up. How do you become a member? Click on the join button below the video. Silver members and up will get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and other perks. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks. But don't worry, these tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more, and they'll always be free. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to share it wherever you think it might help people who are interested in access. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click on the bell icon to select all to be notified every time I post a new video. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link below to join my mailing list. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access. It's over three hours long, and you can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll include a link below you can click on. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And that is free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and you can send me your question there. 
If you have a specific problem you need help with, or you'd like to discuss having a database built for your needs, I do offer one-on-one -on -one consulting. Be sure to follow my blog and find me on Facebook, Twitter, and of course, YouTube. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something today. I'll see you again soon.